How's it going guys? So I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I consider myself a guy who has his own personal sense of style. I know that some of you have commented on it and I sincerely appreciate it, but a lot of people have an incorrect assumption as to where that sense of style actually comes from. RJ, which one of these tops looks better on me? Um... Yeah, I, I don't know, Mackenzie. Come on, you're gay, you're supposed to know these things. Except I'm not? Well, you like guys. Yeah, but I like chicks too. Okay, well then you should really know then. That, that's, that's not how it works, Mackenzie. Indeed, that is not how it works at all. A lot of people are under this impression that stereotyping is okay as long as the stereotype is a positive one. It's okay to say that all men who like men know how to dress because knowing how to dress is something that is desirable. Except just because a stereotype is positive doesn't make it any less inaccurate. I know plenty of straight guys who are always dressed like they're on the cover of details, and I know plenty of gay men who dress like Rob Deerdeck if he were in middle school. It's not like sleeping with other men magically gives you the ability to dress well. <sighs> wow. I've never done that before, but that was really awesome. Oh my god. I just realized that cargo pants are actually hideous. To prove that, I have partnered with my good friends over at Jack Threads to put together a short list of guidelines to help any guy out there, be they gay, bi, pan, ace, or whatever, dress their absolute best no man-on-man -man action required. The number one faux pas that I see men make is buying clothes and wearing clothes that are too big or too baggy on them. And then they end up looking like a little kid who put on his daddy's work shirt. Mommy, mommy, look, I'm daddy. That's nice, sweetie, but at least you can remember mommy's birthday. One rule of thumb that I use, at least when it comes to my shirts, is to stick to the shoulder seam. I always try to make sure that it sits on the top of my shoulder and not on the outside. Doing so helps your shoulders look a little bit broader, since your shirt now hugs them very nicely. and it helps you maintain a much more streamlined profile. Now a lot of the guys that I see wearing big shirts are the ones who might have a little bit of fluff around the middle that they're trying to conceal, and I can see how they might think that would help, except wearing baggy shirts actually tends to work against you and makes it look like you're trying to wear a tent. So instead, do yourself a favor, ditch all the excess fabric, and instead opt for a darker color, which is going to be much, much more slimming. Ask most fashion and style experts and they'll probably tell you that black is the chicest color that's out there. And that's true, to a certain extent. But wearing too much black too often makes it look like you're a member of the Adams Family. And even just sticking to more muted colors like gray and charcoal and navy blue and brown tends to get a bit boring after a while. And that's why it's good to add a nice bright color into the mix every once in a while, especially when it's warm outside. That's gonna help your outfit stand out and be that much more eye-catching not to mention it's just more fun. But when you do decide to add a color, don't assume that all colors are created equal. Different people have different skin tones, sometimes even at different times of the year, so a color that works on one person might not necessarily work on the next one. So yeah, it's important to know what colors you can pull off, and if you don't know that, then try on a few colors until you do. For a lot of men that I meet, the graphic tee is kind of the bread and butter of their wardrobe. And while I certainly enjoy donning them from time to time, it can be a little bit excessive. First off, as much as I would love to express my love for the Avengers or for Game of Thrones on my shirt, I try my best to only indulge in that behavior when I'm going to the gym. But the rest of the time, I try to approach graphic tees like their art that I just so happen to be wearing, but could just as easily put it on my wall. And even then, I try not to wear graphic tees more more than 50 to 60% of the time. Yes, it's insanely easy to just slip one of those on with a pair of jeans and sneakers and just be done with it. But if you take that little bit of extra effort, then I guarantee you that people will notice. And if you're looking for what to wear instead of a graphic tee, too many people out there reserve collars for work, church, and the occasional upscale social function. They view buttoning up a shirt as a chore, which is really unfortunate. Sure, if you only wear collared shirts when you have to, then buttoning up is gonna seem like a chore, but it does not have to be that way. So do yourself a favor and the next time you feel tempted to don a graphic tee and reach for a short sleeve button up instead. I guarantee you that people will notice almost instantly. Whoa, where are you going? You look nice. When you hear people say stuff like that, you'll know that polos and button-ups are a very, very simple and easy way to upgrade your personal sense of style. It's almost like a cheat code. 
No matter what you decide to put on your back, there is one accessory that is crucial for any outfit, and that is the right attitude. You could wear a child-sized Cookie Monster costume and still pull it off if you have enough confidence. So, stand up straight, pull your shoulders back, lift your chin a little bit, and just wear an expression on your face that says, yeah, I look amazing, just try not to oversell it, and more often than not, people will agree with you. It's like a literal Jedi mind trick, except you don't actually have to say anything. Rihanna's dress at the Met Gala looked like she skinned Big Bird alive. I can't show a photo of it here, but just do me a favor and Google it. Guess what though? People were living for it because she wore an expression the entire time that just said, yeah, that's right. I look amazing. And so if it worked for Rihanna's Muppet dress, it can most certainly work for you. So now that you've heard these guidelines, you may or may not have some shopping to do. And if you do, let me just say that Jack Threads is an incredible place to start. Most of the after looks that you saw in this video came from some of their newest collections. Note the fun colors and patterns. They've got a bunch of already curated collections, so putting together looks is stupid simple. They keep on top of trends so that you don't have to. And any site that lets me be lazy is always a plus. Their prices are really awesome even before they put stuff on sale, which is all the time. And they've got clothing, they've got accessories, they've got shoes, they've even got stuff for your home. If you have trouble deciding what to get, they actually have stylists on hand to help you out. They do free returns, free exchanges, and they have an app for your phone just in case shopping at home on your computer is not convenient enough for you. No joke, I actually had to unsubscribe from their their emails back in college because I kept taking advantage of their sales and spending money on clothes when I should have been spending money on rent and food. I am not proud to admit that, but that is true. Just ask my parents who had to bail me out multiple times. But hey, at least I looked really fly. So do what I did, go to jackthreads.com slash notadam and enter the promo code notadam and you will get 20% off your entire order. Link in the description. As if you didn't already need a reason to splurge. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this little style guide I put together. If you have any other style questions or if you wanna share some of your own personal style tips and secrets, you can put those in the comments below. Don't forget to go to jackthreads.com slash notadam and use the offer for code not Adam to get 20% off. I want to make sure I have some of the best dressed subscribers in all of YouTube. Just be warned and don't go overboard like I used to do. Who am I kidding? I still do that. Shut up. Don't judge me. Thank you so much to Jack Threads for helping me out with this video. So I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure to click that like button and make sure to subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys soon with another video. Until then, my name is RJ. Thanks for watching.